seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey there, everyone. It is another magical day in Florida, and today is a super exciting day because today David and I are going to experience our first ever rocket launch from Cape Canaveral. Now we're at a complete stop at the moment. Take a look, sitting in traffic, a lot of people very, very excited for the launch today. It's raining at the moment, but the hope is crossing our fingers and we're listening to the weather report that it'll be cleared up by the time the launch is ready. Here we go. Just making sure that they're strapped in and ready to go. So one hour to go now. We heard directly from NASA. We're listening to the radio chatter and they're saying that they are good to go. One hour to go. That being said, raining a little bit on and off. Hopefully it clears up by the time we're actually ready for launch. We have 20 minutes left of the drive and 6.5 miles. 6.5 miles in 20 minutes. It's a long time. We're all sitting in traffic here, but hopefully we get to a good spot in time for the launch. Cross your fingers. And we're making our way right now. We've got 5.1 miles left and 11 minutes of traffic. We're going over a bridge here that we've used to get to Port Canaveral. And you can see there are cars lining up right over here with a view of NASA right over there. I can see one of the large buildings. I don't think I can see the pad from here, but I can see one of those very, very large buildings they used to construct the shuttle. You've seen pictures of it before, but some, uh, some NASA and space enthusiasts are already standing by right there. So we've got just about 41 minutes to go before liftoff. Everything looks good. Weather's looking good now. Rain has stopped. It's going to be so, so exciting. Our first launch and the first launch of, of man and men and women, humanity, going into space from the United States in nine years. I'm so excited for it. It's going to be great. Just about 28 minutes to go. Let's head on out. We made it. You can see I actually parked the car in the grass. We are in the grass right here. I think it's the first time I've driven and parked in grass in a long time in the car. I think that might be the first time for this car, but now we're actually gonna make our way towards the waterway over there, not too close to the water, but right in front. So we can see the actual blast off itself. This is gonna be great. So we made it to the park here, tremendous number of people here, but we can't actually see the rocket. We were told that it'll kind of appear right over there. So we're actually walking to try and find a better spot. We'll see. Now I've got a little bit of a better view right here. I'm actually standing on top of a table here. But you can, you can kind of see a little bit, but it's still pretty far off, pretty far off. I think we'll be able to kind of get a sense of it launching, but I think we uh, may have to find better spots in the future. All right, Dave, how excited are you? 15 minutes to go. I'm so ready for it. Very exciting. It's going to be amazing. Truly amazing. Never seen it before. I think this is as close as we're going to be able to get today, but hopefully we'll be able to see other launches as well. Maybe a little bit closer. Well, we tried on that table, but I don't know if it's working quite as well. I think actually this spot might be better. So I think we might try this. Lots of people all around. You can see tons and tons of Floridians ready for this. You can see a lot of people are actually trying to put their boats in the water at the last moment moment here we have let's see what time is it 12 after so just about 10 minutes to go if people are trying to get their boats in the water wow take a look at all the people around here ready to see this launch it's definitely a crowded day a lot of people very excited for this historic event now in the future i do hope to be a little bit more prepared so that maybe we can get a ticket to actually sit at the kennedy space center to see it this is a historic one so you know we came out of here just to kind of see it knew it would be a lot of fun but uh, in the future i want to see those launches from the space center all right now i'm going to switch out for the longer lens so we can experience it together here we go There's a definite change in volume. A lot of people are being really quiet now, four minutes away from launch. David, a historic event. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh yeah. The excitement for a historic event. Seven, palpable, absolutely six, palpable. Five, oh my gosh, I can't four, wait. A lot of people three, standing up at this moment. Two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. There's a yeah. line and crew dragon. That was amazing. A pillar of light just flew into the sky. It was amazing. We're just, we're all just here, just in mouth agape, mouth agape as we're watching this. There was a cloud in the way, so we couldn't see it go all the way up, but wow. Oh my gosh. Godspeed to those two astronauts. 
now in space. Now, I know we didn't have the absolute best viewing spot. I realize that in the future, I do actually want to be at the Kennedy Space Center. But just to be here, to say that we were here together during a historic event, a historic event, and the new, the new evolution of human spaceflight is unreal. Unreal. Now, David, in the future, when we go to the Kennedy Space Center, if we have a ticket to be there, would you, would you go? Yes. Oh yeah, so it was, it was really, really cool. Something that was really interesting was the fact that the rumble, the rumble from the actual ignition happened several seconds, 10 to 15 seconds after the actual launch. So we heard it after, because sound travels slower. It's really cool. Now for the longest leg of the journey, the drive back. We're driving on the grass right now to get out of here, but it was, it was a historic event. Definitely a historic event. David, what did you think? It was a great one. I'm glad we had the chance to come out here and check this one out again. Definitely a historic event, as you're saying. And we did have a chance to see kind of that fire coming out of the rocket. Beautiful views. Glad we had a chance to see it. Couldn't agree more. It was mostly about that historic piece. The first time in nine years that human beings have launched off from the United States and the first time SpaceX has sent people into space. So we're thinking of those astronauts right now. As we're sitting here, they are still feeling those Gs flying into space. It's an amazing feeling just to kind of be a part of that moment with them right here. We, we were close. We were close. We saw the fire in the sky. But next time, even closer. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic and adventure with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. And see you real soon.